In the streets, right versus wrong, or for the color of a man's skin. Eventually, all things fall apart. All I see is yeah, so you don't know. Now, let us get a message here. Somebody asked me, What possess you to do a talk show? I mean, I think everybody in the house, everybody got a ghost in the house named Jerry. I mean, he's the ghost of the Caribbean, eh? Like, he's that boy with a lyric in the corner. You know, sometimes you just see something in the corner and the tongue like can disappear. Right. Everybody, everybody, everybody that call it different names. They call it, call it spooks. They call it wind. Some people call it shadows. Some people Shadow. call it imagination. But I can't remember he right named Jerry. Jerry. Yeah. Don't let me him turn up your house. Name Jerry, not the mouse. From Tom and no, Jerry? Not that Jerry. Not, that Jerry. not Jerry from Jerry Springer either. No, no, not he. He too old. Yeah. This Jerry is ever living. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you don't know how it goes. <laughs> 
Greetings, greetings, greetings to everybody. This is North Talk Media. I am your host, Wolfie. I am the presiding host of this thing, and this is my co host, my brother from another mother. Massive to Hazy. Call it Massive to Hazy. Yeah, um, Mr. Hazy. So, just wanna. Yes, I will. Right. So, this is our first. This is our first ever episode on this channel and we decided to do it live so we could have more interactivity with uh you the audience today we are going to be so that i can see me too you know what i'm saying so to today <laughs> today we're going to be discussing uh relationships and dating you know trying to distinguish the differences between the two my boy wolf he can be covering the relationships aspect because he's in one yeah unlike some people me and salty i just saying unlike some people he in one and your boy is going to be covering the dating phase because I'm trying to get into one, but you know. Yeah, so he had to do in 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 this thing there was a there was a diverse understanding of how relationships work, and there's like dating, and then there's actual relationship relationship. So we're gonna try to get into that, and we're gonna try to incorporate the um the different views and perspectives from y'all from the from the comments, and we're gonna see how well we could you know get to this thing so for the record i just want to say please y'all don't be afraid to comment in the chat no, all no, chats be afraid, will be, be read they will be heard and they will be responded to so don't be afraid to drop a comment in the chat yeah um, yeah but without further ado let's get into it yeah constructive criticism is accepted but please keep it pg-13 you know what i'm saying be nice be nice you know we're we, we human just like yeah so um what would captain planet do yeah, what would Captain Planet do? That's like asking what would Jesus do? But technically, ta- Captain Planet is kind of like Jesus, you know. If you think we ain't going there, we ain't going there, we ain't going there. Planet is like an avatar if you think about yeah, it. We're we hurting the anyways, Christians anyways. here. <laughs> we're hurting, we're hurting the Christian people here. That. <laughs> All right, let's, let's get to it. Um, All right, cool, cool, cool. So, first and foremost, let me just explain to you what dating is, I'm saying. So, I read a source online, right? A very reliable source. It says that dating is a stage of romantic relationships with two people engaged in activities, basically to um, see what the intentions are and to evaluate each other before they can get into anything else serious. So, in my words, I want to say I can't say it right now, but (laughs) (laughs) basically, you're just dating to get to understand the person, see how far I can make it. Lunch. It's like a test in a sense. Date is like a test. Mm. Sometimes you pass, sometimes you fail, sometimes you don't know whether you pass or fail. So you just they just deal. You so know what so what would what would you say in terms of like okay for people who more for people who are more obsessed with the test rather than coming to a conclusion of whether this person is right for me or not, what would you say? Like, Leave them. That's that's the only answer. That's it. That's it. Cause the thing is, if you're obsessing over this person mm. and then feeling the same feeling the mutual mm. you're wasting your time you're wasting your time you're wasting your time talk from experience I'm saying you're wasting your time okay okay straight um, my perspective my view is that I don't think that there is a test I don't think that there is a test I feel like if you show somebody a certain sense of what's the word attraction yeah if you if you show a certain set of attraction, a certain type of attraction to somebody, and they don't, you know, reciprocate that same energy, in it's not, it's not them, is 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 like there's a there's a phrase that says love at a distance, but I don't I don't, man, I don't believe in that, because the more I think about it, the more you say the phrase is like, okay, you love this person, distance, but the type of love that we're talking about here at a distance is impossible. You know, Dwayne Stephen sang a song about this year. You know, song from a little cottage in the grill. <laughs> big tune. I look it up here. Yeah, big real tune, big, big tune. tune uh, so, tune. all right. So we can jump into. So we can jump further into this point. A little further. So they said that the main purpose of dating is basically two or more. <clears throat> let me stress that part, yo. Two or more people to evaluate each other's sustainability. You know, to be either companions or spouse. So. It's like a t- it's you're just testing the person. Like, this person good for me. And something else also came to me is that you're testing the physical characteristics, you're testing the personality, the financial status. Most women tend to go for the last one first. And then the first one last. 
But we ain't talking about all of that. You know what I'm saying? It's a different topic. The most women. You, when you say most women, you mean like majority. SK woman them. Yeah, let me let me let me don't, <laughs> let me don't call out nobody here. Check. Let me don't call out nobody here straight for the car. Like women in general tend to go for like, they try to pinpoint the financial status first as opposed to going for the personality. Cause, yo. Okay. Uh, um. um yeah. So on average, on average, mm. how many women have you experienced do that before they try to get to know you? Well, not based on my personal experience, eh, I'm just saying. Always not your personal nah, experience. It can't be my personal experience, though, because then I'd be giving out classified information. Mm. But majority of them, majority of them do. I mean, most people, mo- most people date. Okay, I think we mix up. When most people try to date, they're seeking help. You know what I'm saying? You don't date smart looking for help. You date smart to try and build something. You tra- date smart to try and shit. understand that person. Shit, you date shit. that person trying to, you know, you want to grow with that person you just didn't because you want money and you can't pay your lights but they can't pay your lights we don't need lights money hmm? i mean some of them just take the lights money and spend it on yeah, yeah 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 we, we don't talk about them things <laughs> <laughs> i mean okay let's let's really let's really dive into that because mm. there's this there's this this phrase that a lot of people don't want to coin women as like a gold digger I don't like when people call women gold diggers, but some of them really do live up to that standard. They call them, we call them money shovels. A money shovel? Money shovel. Where do yeah. we shovel? Where do we shovels? You dig, dig things, right? You dig. What are you digging for? They're digging for the money. They're digging in your pocket. Money, di- yeah, money shovel. I know that. I know that. But I sometimes, I sometimes feel that deep down, if a woman is financially stable, there's no need to go hunting for a man with like. A lot more money than you have. And that's a problem too, cause there's some women who feel because they got their own money, they don't need a nigga. Nah, yeah, there's it. there's two sides of the spectrum that a lot of people don't want to look at, and the only question to those is, why? Well, why do you live like that? Why? So you can afford to buy certain things. Certain I can't things. to Cat Williams, right? Mm. Yeah, we'll we'll say that for next time, but. <laughs> Cat Williams said something about this once. Yeah, I should go look him up. Just trust me. Look him up. But okay. back to the point now. Um, mm. So, another thing I want to get into. There's different types of dating. A lot of people don't know about that. Mm. So, there's the online dating. Let me give some examples. You don't have to be lonely if you don't at FarmersOnly.com If you don't know about FarmersOnly.com, I am... And I, you, you live in under a rock. No, I have the experience the that you never... Popular. You never drop sleep in front of your TV <laughs> when you was like 12 years old. <laughs> I wake up with all of these commercials yeah. playing music. I don't think Farmers you ever Farmers only dot com. There's Christian Mingle. There's, um, what else I had by? There's Tinder, which yeah. works now in sync. It's just in case y'all didn't know. <clears throat> How do I know that you know? Man, I just put up on it one day. Call them out. Call them out, my boy. Call them out. I can't get them out of my sources, dog. Get them on my sauce, but I left for me. Oh, bye. All the, all the good looking niggas going on Tinder, I'm left back with the scraps then. I mean, I mean, you don't think what you're getting off of Tinder already is scraps, somebody scraps. Come on, let's think about <laughs> it. Let's think about <laughs> it for real. Let's let's go down this rabbit hole. Like, Still up. If, if you go on a dating site, that's obviously somebody. Okay. I, w- I wouldn't say there's a 50 sh- there's a 50 50 chance, right? That. The, the person that you're going to look for on that, that website is coming out of something that they don't want to be in. Let me tell you something, right? This is what I've learned. Shut up. You're talking too much. <laughs> <laughs> but, it's, 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 but the thing is, the thing is, true, right, on, a, on a serious note, we all know the popular slang, one man's chest is another man's treasure, or something like that. Yeah. 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 So, Although this person is coming up with something, yes, most people who are on these online websites ain't really trying to hook up, you know, for anything serious. They're just trying to, you know, you don't know, you don't know. Man, got to explain it anymore. You yeah, don't know it's, 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 so. it's, it's a stereotype that a lot of people enjoy being a part of. Yeah. But you know the good part about that, the good, the, the good part about that, the great takeaway from that is that when you come out of a situation like that, you learn about people. That's true. You learn how people are, and then. When you finally figure out, okay, this is what majority of people want, you could become a greater person from that. That's true. I feel like everybody who go through a situation like that, you come out learning something about people that you never had before. 
that and then you get to interact with different cultures you know what I'm saying because yeah. yeah. on Tinder there's not just black people you know <laughs> different types of races yo <laughs> yo jeez I'm, I'm not trying to make this show sound yeah. segregated or separated I'm just letting y'all yeah, know yeah, 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 if you want sure. different culture experience hit up Tinder yeah. but 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 and I laugh here because then I know I rest my case right there. We ain't going for the internet. Let's move on. Let's move on. We move. We move. Just leave it there. Just leave it right there. Just leave it right Okay, cool. And next type of dating is blind dates. Um, in so my 26 years of living, I have never damn. heard or seen a blind date. Damn. Tell me. Have you? Only place I've, I've seen blind dates is like on the internet and on like in like movies and stuff like that. Point, exactly. But like... If, it's, if, 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 if you met Zimmy for a second here, every date that you go on, it may, even if you're not a person, yeah, every date that you go on is a blind date. You don't know this person. You want me to tell how I could go on a blind date? How? Forget my glasses home. Oh, these blind people, man. These blind people. These <laughs> That's the only way you go on a blind date. I feel like these blind people, these people with glasses, y'all got extra set of eyes. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to stop playing. You just said these people with glasses? <laughs> <laughs> I'm immediately offended. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, don't don't get offended. Eh? Okay, people with glasses, people with glasses. My girl, she wears glasses, right? And what your flaunting the girl? Eh? Cool. Go ahead. I. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo. When she was going to pick, she glasses them. I was like, I honestly like to see a woman with glasses, and this is. This is my woman, and I'm going to choose the best glasses for this girl. And I, she, she was like showing me the options them and shit. I mm. was like, choose that one, dear. In my head, I was like, yes, yes. double the sexiness. <laughs> <laughs> That's the re- yo. Let me yo, ladies. I'm not low key. Let me tell you something. Right? The reason why men love women with glasses, we date two women at the same time. There's the smart, beautiful sexy intelligent woman that wears the glasses you know what I'm saying wears her uniform and rock that shit and there's the queen that wakes up in the morning with no need to wear no need to wear glasses you know what I'm saying so it's two different persons so you're dating one are blind and one I could see so they got two money in your house yeah. Yeah, so, 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 so basically for all the fellas out there and I'm going to use a lot of cartoon terminology for the people who used to watch cartoons yeah I, I know you got a lot of people oh yeah yeah Daphne was better but what about Velma Yo, y'all be sleeping on Velma y'all for be real, yo. Sleeping on Velma, yeah. Velma let me, was. Let me, call, yo, let, me, let, me, let me tell you, let me spoil something. Let me spoil. Let me spoil Scooby Doo for you. <coughs> oh, here we go. You know how Fred is always going with Daphne. Mm. As Fred can't handle Velma. Why, them adult- Velma needs meat, even if it's not only human. You know what Velma did truly like? She did like Shaggy. Not just Shaggy, yeah. She did like Shaggy, and I tell you, I tell you for sure from the beginning of the show. When they started to send Scooby on his own, I was like, "What going on with the humans? Mm, mm. Going on with the humans? What going on there?" Hey, I remember Shaggy like to eat, yo. My boy can't eat. Have you seen yeah, the mouth on that guy? Yeah, we gonna we gonna go to the next topic. But anyway, yeah, 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 yeah continue, topic, yeah, check. continue. Okay, so there's casual dating. No, this is my take on casual dating. I don't understand how casual dating is a thing. Casual dating is like, um, let's take a co-work at work. You know what I'm saying? Mm. She looking. F- Fine as fuck. Keep your body together, you keep, know. Keep it to your pants, dear Josh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Keep it to your pants, dear Josh. Everything, everything, couple set, everything, couple set. So she, 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 she. <laughs> <laughs> I see this man. Anyway, <laughs> she, you know, she. Oh, great mindset. Lord. Keep your body together. <laughs> <laughs> Not that funny, Frederick. Start in him, Jerry. Anyways, continue. My bad, Jerry. My bad, my bad. Don't yeah, get straight, don't. Yeah, you know. Happens, yeah, say, you know. yeah, so it's the casual date means like just, just a friendly date. Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing serious. You, you ain't trying to get nothing out of it. Just, yeah, walk out. Yo, I like your vibes. You like my vibes? She, let's get some pizza. You know what I'm saying? It's that simple thing. That, that ain't enough you know, explaining that. So, uh, so, no, it's not about explaining. It's diving into like the similarities of like what casual dating is versus like an actual date. Because an actual date is where y'all would actually do stuff, you know, be intimate and things. Not, no, not, no, not no. just sexually speaking, but y'all more intimate in the, in the dating. But oh, as you opposed mean like, to, okay, so, like, holding so, hands, you know what I'm saying, yeah. buying each other shit, you know, looking at each other kind of way. That's, that's me. That's what I feel is dating, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're trying to 
get to know that person on a physical and on a, a different kind of attraction. A casual day is like you don't really you don't just let's get some coffee dog. Mm. Like I just mm. yo, yo, mm. hit up my bad yo. So so like, you think so you think the donuts. phrase you think the phrase or the term dating is it carries way more like more more weight than that the is actual, needed. Yeah. Like oh wow, okay. I I I I, I, start, I think I'm starting to see now like through the looking glass of like reality mm. people take dating to be something like oh yeah yeah we're dating this girl yeah, 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 yeah. no when I first started talking to my girl this girl understand me on a soul level right when we actually started to date even though it was less times than often mm. it was, even though it was less times than I was able to see her every time I left this girl I was thinking wow we do some things while we was hanging out that nobody else <laughs> nobody else ever done with me that's right right like i would i would be doing freaky and weird shit i would bust a weird joke like only like a one man joke right and then you turn on and you see this girl laughing in your hat just like drop out yeah, like, drop like, out your that's chest that's how you're not dating you're like if, if you could catch on to certain jokes that you're bossing i had dating uh, if she said if she uh, start to use your slangs them yeah you're in a relationship that, yeah. that different that's a whole different class but we ain't talking about that we're talking about dating for now yeah 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 that's <coughs> true that's true, that's true. Well, yo, so casual dating just like a friendly boy it's, it ain't nothing serious double dating now nah I'm, I'm let me just say this straight up I've never been on a double date but I would love to go on a double date man about you but I have never experienced awesome. it in my life that's, that's not awesome that's, that's I'm sad <laughs> why not me <laughs> <laughs> why are you so sad dog like what, what's happening dog like what the thing is, the reason why I don't think double dates is a good idea, mm. that's it ain't competitive. It's going to be competitive. Double dating is too competitive. Look. It's going to be competitive. Look. I am going to show my girl off more than you're going to show your girl off more. You know what I'm, I'm going to show you the reason why Shadi love me more than why your Shadi love you. I'm psh, 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 nigga, please. Sit to the last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I, I feel that. I feel that. Because on multiple, on multiple different occasions, I was, in, I was in situations way back when like before before I was with the girl I with right now mm. there were situations where me and the fellas um, all of us would be out with we go and this is how I know like to the American standard double dating is like all of y'all getting up and be like yo let's double date you girl come my girl come my go with y'all I go with this whoa 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 and I come with my girl and we go out and we enjoy ourselves. Hey. Tell me. Tell me. That half of these ninjas, they, they don't be on these dates. I be looking at each other like, oh, this man eating out this girl face. Tongue. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I see a movie once, right? Yo. I see a movie once, right? It wasn't a movie, more like a shot. It was a King Batch video. If I don't know King Batch, I don't know a century I live in, but. There was on that date. There was on a double date, right? A lot of people say he ain't funny. What's wrong with y'all? Yeah, yo. The man hilarious. funny. Give the man his stars with a Jew. It's like, it's like people saying that, um, what that dude's name is again? Michael B. Jordan? Yeah. The dude who act in the Black Panther? Mm. <laughs> but he go act. The man is good. Give the man his rating, my guy. Michael B. Jordan? Yeah, I think that's him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because, yeah, yeah. He was in, um, A lot of people putting Creed. hate on the man, man. He was in Creed as well. Oh, for real? The, the, the boxing movie, yeah. That was, that was a great movie, to be honest. Um, so, hmm, what happened to it? I got any problems with it? No, it up, it up, it just maybe it's the internet then. It just drop out a little bit. Ugh. But yeah, um, yeah, but double date is something I would definitely love to try for sure, for sure. They got, they got another kind of dating called serious dating. <coughs> Serious dating? May I ask a question, right? And I want to be honest with me. Have any of y'all seen the series You? Like Y O U? That's serious dating. That dude? No, 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 That type that's that that's that type of love that make you want to bury a nigga, no. Literally. No. That's what he did. No, 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 no. That's the type of love that make you want to bury a nigga. I don't think that's okay. I don't think that's okay. That nigga crazy, dog. He like no, he out of his mind. He out of his mind. A man crazy, though. And then you think he was crazy? Shh. 
نمیش میدونی اصلا نازیو آقا تو بحث دیمو آقا 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 اصلا با میستن فلان فلان در کل تر نمیدونی اصلا نمیدونی تو بیان اصلا بود خویتین میلی میستر بین یو سو another thing I when it comes to dating there's apparently five different stages of dating there is the attraction stage where this is the part where you know when she when she step into that one room and then the, the light just hits her differently her hair starts flowing in the wind you know what I'm saying and she's walking real slow like she's walking across the beach I'm gonna say she I'm using the man me me watching the man watching woman but yeah hold on hold on that's hold, that's on, hold on hold on hold on you, you got to Remember you got the like the um I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna say the name of the group, but you got like the, the rainbow group out here. Just 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 say it as it go, you check. Say 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 it as it go, dog. You got you gotta say it as it go. So for me, I watching the the, the woman them and so I watching the unicorns them. So I can watch the unicorns yeah, you, I watch you, the, the woman. Unicorns them. Them. <coughs> yeah, that's 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 the attraction is that you ju- you see it's like yo, I got to know who this girl is. Shorty is fine, yo. Like, mm. Real talk, like just the, the look alone and then I guess after you start to get when you talk to you figure out she minds it like you're attracted to your minds and another thing they said that if you date the person on the first date mm-hmm. and you cannot picture a future on the first date mm. ain't really gonna work out because you should be able sorry you should be able to read that person and tell yourself where you want to be just based on that first date alone the first interaction alone is gonna let you know where you stand with that person or where that person stand with you you say you say first you, you say first interaction first, matter yeah the first interaction matter okay so to me to me it does no 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 i think i think it matters on on all fronts because say for instance you go on a blind date this is is this 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 stereotype of not knowing who the person is on a blind date mm. not even you know you just <coughs> text this person be like yo come out and there we go on a date but that's yo Hold that's on. just let's go back to I the blind date for a dating. minute, right? To do a blind date requires a lot of choice here. Huh? Because you don't know this person, you don't know how they look, but you're going to meet them. People, people, this is why we don't go on blind dates. <laughs> I think it's, I think it's, we don't go on blind dates. You go you missing. Go. Yeah, that's what can happen. You don't go missing. You don't go missing. Nah, you ain't going on no blind date, you're going missing. You're going to end up in a box of milk. Then again, that's a lie, that's mistakes. Down here, you're going to end up on a poster. You don't end up on a poster. Not in a poster. You might end up on a Facebook post. <laughs> Somebody don't in the archives. Yo, this person we missed it. We can't find them. Hey, I you know. I need your help looking for them. You know, you know, you know. I think about that too. Sometimes, sometimes the girls, them. Sometimes some of the girls, I ain't calling out nobody. Nobody come look for me. I'm just saying. When it comes to these kind of things here, a lot of girls, they go missing. Quote, unquote, missing. Quote, unquote. They gone with a guy. <laughs> they gone with some guy. Quote unquote, she said. <laughs> quote unquote. That's true. It, it tends to happen. Yeah, I'm saying. But yo, if I are going out, if you know you're going out and people gonna be looking for you, yeah, just please, be, let the people know. Just be careful. Yeah, let, let the people know. Don't don't let them know you're going out. But just tell them, you know, send a message, send an SMS or something. Like we, you got you got people wasting manpower to look for you and no last message, no no last contact, nothing, nothing at all. At all. That's a is it it is. Either. It does be real annoying, especially knowing some... Okay, this is something that I struggle with. And this is one of my points, right? When it comes to relationship, communication is key. Communication is, 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 is not just like, oh yeah, you're just happily telling this person everything about your life. This is, like, this is like, <coughs> on a deeper understanding, if this person is, if this person is going somewhere, you don't know where they're going. Your responsibility is to say, okay, this person cares about me a lot. I need to understand that at the end of the day, who gonna be looking for me? That's true. The That's other true. person. So That's true. your last your last <coughs> call, your last call to action would be to yo, I'm going here and there. If you ain't see me, call so and so, I'll call so and so phone, I might answer. Think about that some people that feel like I don't know, maybe this is just me, but I some people I don't hear people say like me and God touch by I again. Like I don't No, think no, 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 that's not okay. I don't think I in love with you are doing in kind of that ain't that ain't love, yo. That's just I just dating. It's a situation. Like I just do it you because 
me ain't got nowhere else to go. Me ain't got the parents. You know, you're paying the bills. Um, that's that's why I feel like that a bit. Because, like, if you can't tell me where you're going, I thought manners and respect. You ain't got to tell me everywhere you're going. But manners and respect. If you know you're going to go somewhere and take longer than usual, just say you're going on the road. Like, yeah, it got I think some... I Billy Bob will get a massage. Wink, wink. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it ain't even just a massage. I'm not touching that part of you. No, 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 no. You're <laughs> going to touch everybody, Pat. What? Because, look. You sound like Donald Trump, big man, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to touch every part because we're coming, down, we're coming up to the next advertisement for the upcoming. Um, We got upcoming business here from my boy, Massive to Hazy. He's going to be launching his own massage therapy business. Ladies, if you got a crack in, if you got a crick in your spine, you got a tight muscle, you don't know, you got to check my boy. The locks and everything ain't just for sure. He hands them like metal. But soft like what is the softest thing in the world? Like a baby bottom. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. So That's some kinda of wrong. <laughs> so you're putting a baby bottom on people's skin. Whoa. Wow, let me tell you something, right? Let me let me rephrase that. Let me retract that statement, yo. Mm. It's soft like bounty. I ever use bounty? Mm. Bounty ultra strong. Yeah, you don't know how that is set you know. Yeah. So, so, so he'll be setting up he'll be setting up his business as soon as we get the um you the materials and, and whatever is needed. Um, we do apologize for the technical difficulties. The internet doesn't seem to be as strong. Again, guys, this is the first ever broadcast. This is the, the first, first ever broadcast. Yeah, but you have to work with us. You know, we're trying to work to the technicalities. Yeah, so. we got to. We're, we're trying to work to the technicalities. But, yeah. but anyways, we got we we kind of little straight off topic. Let me get back to the yeah, thing. Let me get, get back, back to the, the thing. So, the so there's five different stages. The attraction stage. You don't know how that is. So there's the reality stage. Reality is where you start to understand where you stand. You mm. know what I'm saying? It's where you start to figure out. Yo, do I want to be with this person? Mm. Yo, this person not cheat me, right? Yo, this might eat up one of my fries, him, and he ain't tell me nothing. Whoa, whoa, what, what? Yeah, yeah. some some woman do so that. So wait, yeah. hold on. You mean to tell me that that, <coughs> that there's people out here petty enough to say we don't? You eat up one of my fries, them, and we don't. I see a man divorce a whole wife because she burned rice. You don't think? You could get it done because you eat up my fries and you say nothing. I mean, you could get it done because of rice and you could get it done because of rice. <laughs> You're gone too far, brother. You're gone too <laughs> You could get it done because of rice and you could get it done because of rice. Fellas, if it's one thing I want all y'all do for y'all self, demand them, stop by the creator food, stop by the lung pang every day. I mean, saying you, you can't buy it, eh? Learn to cook. Women love a man who can take care of himself. And the kitchen. Boy, oh man, love a man that cook that good with your hands, yeah. I'm mean, talking about just in bed. Eh? I'm talking about in the kitchen. Big man, you chef down a pot and you get a woman at you, she love you one time. Yeah. I tell you. Straight, 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 straight forward. And, and, and it's like, it's not even just cooking. Being versatile around the house. And this is one of my points. Um, it's another thing for you. In a relationship, if you cannot... I repeat, if you cannot share the house chores them, you're no use to this relationship. Because if you're gonna got the woman in the in the in the hot kitchen, mopping the floor, sweeping the floor, taking care of the children them, granted that I know that a lot of men, a lot of men, they have heavy duty work to do, construction workers, you know, people in like mechanic jobs and stuff and, and stuff like that. Y'all come home every day, greasy, sweaty tired not able to function as a family man but you are a family man exactly. come home have a conversation with your wife ask her what she needs help her with what she needs ain't even got to be your wife it could be like just you know y'all just living together it's, it's such a tight relationship y'all decide okay we're gonna jump into a house we're gonna set load we're gonna do what we got to do together and about that day my brother we don't see them tell the thing fall <laughs> <laughs> No, he got a point. <laughs> no, but I, 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 I. You got a point. You got a point. Let, okay, understandable. You, you're working hard at your job. You reach home, you're tired. Mm. Who says she ain't working hard at your job and something frustrates and she job? She won't come home and talk to you for like five, ten minutes and you ain't talking to her. I'm talking from experience this time because I've done this. Mm. You come home, you ain't really in the mood for talking. You just want to come home and just cool and just chillax. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Talk, talk to her. Like, you're like 10, 15 minutes of your time. Dog. That's all I want to it's hear. Not, it's not even just like 10, <coughs> 15 minutes. You come home. A lot, a lot of the times, a lot of the times, men come home, and the first thing they do, they either jump and they like, 
they either jump on their 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 their, their phone, mm-hmm. ganga text everybody excluding your girl, uh, uh sending everybody these type of messages, uh, uh jump on Instagram, oh boy, she's sexy enough, edge boy, mm-hmm. exposing the poor girls them before they even get mature. Come on, man. Yo. Y'all grown. You got a whole wife slash woman in the kitchen with the children them, with the this, with the that. And that comes on to my second point. A happy relationship slash marriage equals a happy heart. You want to make man does, does, does drop down when they get born? How the heart don't work properly. That is what going on. That is what going on. Mine, this is how bond does work, eh? This is how bond does work. Big man, may I ask question? Is that bacon? No. <laughs> so you know how bond does work. But I've burned a couple pots before. Leave. Do the door there. Leave. Man, I want to get up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get up. Okay. So this is this is what it is, right? Especially when it comes down to to to, to cheating. It is. Ooh, that's a whole different topic, my guy. It is a ch- no because, like I said, a happy relationship is a happy household, right? That is true. The household don't have to be an actual house. It could just be the two of you being happy together, right? Cheating. All the straight men out there. I'm not talking to the rainbow community. All the straight men out there, tell me, massive, is it not true? Women are a beautiful specimen, especially to these eyes of a male. Tell like, me, tell I, me about. I got four of them here, so I've seen twice as much. This man, this man <laughs> you're stacking them. You're stacking them. Yeah, I sure you got enough men who can either watch this right now and uh, watch it later and say, how much he got? How much he got? Me. But he's not in a committed relationship. He's talking to them, just trying to figure out where he's going. That's and that's for dating. That's what's dating. That's that what is dating. dating. Right? Da- your dating doesn't mean you're you um um what's the word? Sec- you're not secluded to just one person. It's still open. You you're basically testing the waters them. So in a sense, I could talk to Jeffrey. Blah. What kind of girl named Jeffrey? Jeffrey. I could talk to <laughs> That's a very manly woman. <laughs> That's a very manly woman, dear She sir. come from Russia, you don't know. Yeah. Whoa, 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 wait, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> but anyways, I can talk to Tabitha. Tabitha, Tabitha, Tabitha. Cross the street. Mm. Tell Tabitha, yeah, Alexi, I want to talk to you. I want to date you. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Cool. Don't talk to Tabitha. Go up the road and put up on Tiffany. Not, not saying I'm that type of guy. Let me just clarify for the ear. Men are doing them thing there. But I'm saying. Talk Clear to Tiffany. Tiffany. Yeah, I talk to Tiffany. Tiffany, cooler than Tabitha. But Tabitha carrying more feelings to me than Tiffany does. But I carry more feelings to Tiffany than Tabitha does. So mm. is it, I cut off Tabitha and start talking to Tiffany. And then Tabitha didn't get feelings. But Tabitha didn't understand we was dating. We wasn't in nothing. You know, I just testing you out to see whether I should go through with you or not. And that is where the next stage come in, which is called commitment. Mm. This is where you make up your mind and you, you, you choose whether to go mm. or to stay. That's the stage you reach in. The decision phase. That's the decision phase. Basically, the commitment stage is the decision phase. This is where you work out, okay, yes, this is the person I want to do it. Mm. I ain't gonna lie to you. I like her. She cool. She got a level head. She like and she 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 not take herself. And she got she own money. She financially stable. Yeah, Even if she true, ain't financially true, stable, she's not the type that's always wanting, always needing. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Just saying. Nobody get offended by this message. <laughs> I'm just saying. I so, feel like I feel like a lot of what we said so far. People have been offended. That's all right. Y'all can come and below and tell us how you feel and give your point. Yeah, we can anything. we can accept what we, you say yeah, and if something can, definitely offended you, we can we can switch. Then after the commitment phase, now I don't lock it down, you know, lock and kill. Come my favorite part of the stage. Mm. <sighs> <laughs> you gotta clear it to it. Hold on, what's happening the over there? Intimacy stage. Yes, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yes, hello nine one one. This man is. Caressing my pillow. You might got washed off. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, this is the intimacy stage. Mm. The intimacy stage does not necessarily mean sexuality. Let me clarify that again. Mm. Being intimate does not mean that you have to be sexual. There's different levels of intimacy. Intimacy could just literally mean y'all laying down and watching Netflix, not y'all have Netflix watching y'all. Please. Are you still there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
remember YouTube used to there, but you know, YouTube come up, YouTube fixed the algorithm. There was like, you know what? Half of the time, I'm pretty sure these people just watching, like, listening music videos and just like in the back room having sex or some shit. And we're taking off this feature where we ask you and you're just still <laughs> we're taking it off. YouTube get fed up, man. You could take it out of But yo, intimacy can mean different things. Uh. Intimacy could go as far as holding hands when walking, it mm-hmm. go as far as yeah. um, carrying her weight, as far as carrying her out or carrying him out. So let's not forget the, the kings them too. Yeah, 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 yeah. The kings them need to get some I kind of. I feel like when it comes to dating, majority of the um the attention goes to women, and ding, ding, ding. as facts. the men, we don't get enough attention. I'm saying, I'm just saying. I that's how say, I understand that. I wouldn't even say like it's just like there, there, there's a there's a disconnect that people don't understand. The attention thing, people in relationships they feel like oh one one gender or one sex in a relationship or one person in a relationship deserve more attention than the exactly. other. But that's that's so besides the point. If you pay more attention to everything else excluding yourself and your partner affairs you are going to have a terrible time in your relationship that's a fact that's a fact ding, ding, ding. It, it, it hurts it hurts me to say but I feel like the reason why a lot of relationships fail is not because of the communication is not because of the choices that they make because you could make the right choices you could not cheat and a lot of people don't succeed in relationships because they don't commit they don't allow themselves to become submissive to their partner and that don't mean for the men that doesn't mean lying down and being shikyat and let her kick you around <laughs> it doesn't mean that it means you have to submit to your partner you have to submit your cognitive awareness you have to submit your presence you have to submit your attention to your significant other when you do that, you're going to realize that she respects the fact that you took time out of your day to give her attention. Facts, facts, He's facts. going to respect the fact that you came home with an attitude, but he has a twisted ankle. He's not okay. Or maybe he, he frustrated about something that he doesn't want to talk about. You put down whatever is going on with you as a woman, and you go to him and say, hey, I know you ain't really want to talk about this. Your feelings that matter in this relationship. If you really want to keep this thing going, talk about it. Come, let's talk about it. Facts. Yeah. That's, that's a fact. <coughs> I feel like people fail. I feel, I feel like people fail to, 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 to let that be a part of their, 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 but, their thing. But, so, after the the intimacy stage, mm. wink, wink, you know what I'm saying? I am not going on the intimacy stage. Yeah. Intimacy. Mm. <laughs> okay, yeah. After that intimacy stage, yo, uh. to engagement stage, so you walk out. Yeah, this is it. Now, this is where this is where you take the step. Mm. In my opinion, in my opinion, this is where you take the step and say, "We in a relationship." This is official. Mm-hmm. This is where the relationship thing comes into play. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, and uh, I ain't gonna lie. There, there's a study that was done by one of the universities whose name shall remain anonymous. Anonymous. That said that. Um, People who dated for three or more years before proposing are forty percent less likely to divorce compared to those that have dated for less than a year. Ooh. Reason why, cause you take more time to get to understand and know the person. Cause people, I don't understand people all want to rush into getting married. It, <coughs> marriage don't really solve anything. It don't. It don't cut it. It don't cut it. It does not. For, well, in my opinion, <coughs> while marriage is a way of saying yes, I want to stay with this person. I'm going to be. Um, bonded to this person for the rest of my life is not going to fix the problems that y'all had before. No. You no. want to fix them problems before before you even think about getting married. So do you honest. think do you think a lot of this is like where your confrontation comes into play? Yeah. Like willingly confronting somebody about something. Well, th- wait a minute. Pass the second. Yeah. So when it comes to relationships now, a lot of people don't like to confront things. And I feel like most people think that being too honest in a relationship is bad. I don't think so. If you can't be straight, if you're honest with your partner in a relationship, that shit ain't gonna work. If y'all can voice each other opin- voice opinions in a relationship, it's not going to work. Because if you don't, you know, someone actually teach me that once. The fella sit me down here. He was like, 
I had to argue. I was like, no, we don't really argue. He said, that's bad. I said, why? Because if y'all don't argue, nobody voicing their opinions, which means nobody's saying we're really um, hurting them. Nobody's saying we're really offending them. That's another way of saying, we just holding what we, um, what bothering us, and we ain't speaking it. So if you don't speak, your your partner's supposed to fix it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't have to speak your facts, dog. And then that, that leads into one of my points about relationships. Um, Arguments are actually good. Arguments are a good way for you to have an emotional outlet to your significant other or partner. And it's not even just about... Okay. Say, for instance, you have a friend. This is not your girlfriend. This is not your boyfriend. This is not nobody. Yeah, this is not nobody <laughs> like that, right? This is your friend, right? <laughs> In order for you guys to come to, you know, solid conclusions, y'all gotta say what's bugging you. You gotta say what's bugging you. You can't just be like passive aggressive to this person forever. Or going to your friends, them. Ah, uh, running going to other friends. Like you could go to other your friend, your other friends, eh? You can, but. Certain things that happen in a relationship, yeah, no. stay in your relationship, please. Yeah, no. I'm telling your friends, them. your friends, then can't fix it. Your friends, them don't know, gonna be in the doors. Let me touch another topic real quick. We're gonna touch too long on this, yo. Mm. Do not go to your friends with one side of the story. If you're gonna go to your friends and paint a bad picture of this person, they will only see the bad picture of that person. Because mm. mm. I, right, I right. have known people that will come to me and tell me direct, but I can't stand this girl, yo. She don't do nothing home, dog. Mm. It's like, I come and cook. And, but you ain't telling me the fact that she done take care of you. She done buy the same stuff she you used to cook. Them and she done take care of the children. She done wash your clothes. You don't even tell me all that. The you tell me is the bad part. So, no, I'm going to perceive her as the bad thing you tell me. If you're going to go to your friends, then give me the full story. I give you half a story. I don't think it's possible for you to give nobody the full story because there's this, there's this, um, there's a practice when you become a Buddhist monk, or you, you become a monk in general, or you become a yogi, anybody like that of spiritual nature, mm. if you're going to tell the story of somebody and it doesn't lead into what you saw or what you felt hurt you, don't tell nobody none. Because Simple. in the end, in the end, the next day, that person is a different person. Exactly. It's in the past. You got to leave things alone. You got to leave people alone. You can love somebody at a, li- at a distance. Say somebody did you something bad. You stop talking to your friend. You stop doing this. You stop doing that. Unless it is something that you could not see. Would have been reoccurring. You have no need to paint that person as a bad person. Unless everybody else knew that, hey, this person was definitely a toxic exactly, ass dude. Like, exactly. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Trust stop me. painting people out. Stop, stop painting stop people. Stop painting this. We in your castle. We in your castle. Stop doing that. Anyways, let me get some facts real quick. Some dating facts. Mm. Did you know that Iceland has an app that prevents you from hooking up with your cousin? Yo, Alabama. I got some news for you. <laughs> But anyways, the reason why they said that is three main reasons. One, Iceland has a very small population. It's like 320 something thousand. That, that roughly that amount. Two, most of them is foreigners. But, sorry, they have very few foreigners. So, um, you know, we, we can't really separate the good, the bad, and the ugly. Number three, surnames. So it's not like to say how you would probably carry on the Tatum title mm-hmm. along other generations. Not them niggas, not them ninjas up there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, them ninjas boy. up there. Yo. Them I will call one child Suktar. And then from Sukta the chin to Fraktar. Yep. And yep. then from Fraktar the chin to Jonathan. Yep. How? How yep. you go from Fraktar to Jonathan? That make no sense? It don't make no sense. It don't make anyways, no sense at all. Anyways. Um, another fact. Um, most men, I think this is true. Most men tend to say, I love you first. Most men tend to say, I love you first. You really would ever hear women saying that, you. Okay. So, 
in that in that in that case, do you feel like do you feel like is a thing where okay, uh, how do I say this? In a situation where it is equally intimate, right? Mm. All the the, the 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 weather conditions of this relationship, they meet the standard of you know commitment. They meet the standard of commitment. Do you feel like is like a man refusing to submit to his feelings for this person? I don't think I don't think any man should refuse to submit to his feelings. I don't think he should. The thing is, right? The reason why I, this is my mentality. The reason why I think men say it first, mm. women enjoy hearing saying it. Women enjoy hearing us say it because mm-hmm. as a man, let's be real. You hear a woman say "I love you," is like, what are you supposed to do with that? <laughs> yeah, because is 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 the nature of a man to psychoanalyze every situation that's given to exactly. him. Exactly. Right. Where you have situations like, okay, a girl giving you mix a mix feelings, a mixed plethora of feelings. How are you supposed to feel about like a woman coming to you? And touching your shoulder, I mean, you look good today. So, you know, in in the mind of a man, yeah, the first man. thing, the first thing a man gonna say, oh, yeah, bye. She like me, bye, yeah, yeah bye. The first thing gonna say, try to yeah. shoot a shot. It's but like, in the next fifteen minutes, and it's like, who send this devil after me, bye? Like, who 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 are you? I'm about to try and set me up, you know. Spawn and the devil. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So it's it kind of mystic. would you say that? <laughs> I feel like that's the reason why most men tend to say it was me. That's my opinion. Another thing too. Tinder works in St. Kitts. Just let Naya know. Yep, yep. Look it up real quick. Look it up real quick. Um, they said that free dating sites mm-hmm. and free dating sites, ten percent of the profiles them on those sites mm-hmm. are scammers. What? Yeah. So, you if, if you're going on them online dating sites, that's free, quote unquote free. Uh Ten percent of the profiles on that site is scammers. So yeah, you got to so, you got to know. How do we, okay? So like how, how does to identify how one? does how does a woman differentiate from Bob who just got up a regular fishing picture and Bob who actually look like yeah this man working construction but I could go on the internet and find a picture of my working construction and put it on the profile picture it's easy the internet is a very very that's very what you beautiful call cat fishing bro that's what you call cat fishing but I did get catfish at the time but we ain't gonna talk about that right now we talk about that next time <laughs> why you gonna talk about my like okay back in the day I used to like Want to talk to girls on the internet and deal with them over the internet. I deal with this girl from Bahamas. You got on fire, brother? I deal with that girl from Bahamas when I was like 13. I stopped talk to her. I don't know where this girl be. She probably dead. Don't know. I don't know what guy in I you don't say that? Not. What do you do? Don't look, say that. Look, nah, as much as I don't like to say it, Rona happened. We don't know what happened to a lot of people. Unfortunately, we don't. First of all, we live in the Caribbean. We're fine. We got bush tea. And we got, we got Vix. And we got sun. We got sun. We're going to be all right. Yeah, <laughs> shit, shit, shit. Bing, bing. yeah. But um, back to the point now. Mm. This, is, this is just my closing point. When it comes to dating, mm-hmm. I'm going to give you all my personal um, feedback on dating. Mm. Have sex early. reason why I'm saying that because some people don't want to talk about it. I feel like people don't want to talk about it, but sex plays a major role going into a relationship like do you want this for the rest of the time you're gonna spend with this person mm. find out early because if a woman want to find out yo he packing or he slacking one after the two you know what I'm saying so uh, direct we want to know you packing or you, you just yeah you just you just deal you just deal, you just deal. But, but that 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 has a negative side as well according to my uncle this is something I learned from my uncle eh? before yeah condom not only that, but a lot of people only look good in clothes. Let that sink in. Let that sink in. I don't want to think something is something else, but whoa, we ain't whoa. talking about that. What the nonsense? <laughs> what the nonsense? Next. Have, a, have sex early. At least you would know what the game is like, so you know you wouldn't yeah, be but, frustrated if you're not late. Yeah, it's but better be- you do it early as opposed to waiting until like eight months down the line and after you're finally eight months down the line, like, I really waited eight months for this. Yeah, that's true. I mean, but like you need to be committed right like definitely committed to this person and have safe se- safe sex on the first go <laughs> on the first go right yes 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 chop up Strap Point up. your socks Main to- oh. yes Point your socks three um sleepovers sleepovers are very very important 
mm. I'm telling you what's the most important you're gonna end up finding out two things on a sleepover mm. generator or Alaska fan how she saw when she's sleeping sorry how would they saw when they're sleeping why you gotta do that <laughs> <laughs> when you go do that, uh, like, well, t- okay, not just that, that's, that, but I think that's a main factor because mm. if, if it is no load, you know you ain't gonna sleep. If not, yeah, you ain't gonna sleep at all, guy. That's one. Two, you know how the nightly routines work, so you know for a fact that this person take care of their body. Mm-hmm. You will see how the person operate before they go to bed. Oh, that's so, a good one. So you will honestly know how this person will take care of themselves. That's a very, very important Ooh. thing. That's why sleepovers are very, very important. Okay, you so, so have to have a sleepover. What, you gotta sleep over then. What would you say about people who can't like go over to their parents' house? You would advise people like that to like take the risk and take a night out somewhere in like yeah. a hotel or something. Yo, we young, yo, we gain. Oh, let, let me. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, that pop up in me. You need pop? We. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, that pop up in me. We gain. I thought old. I was the only one. No, no, we gain all. Dog. Take time if I if I got a part me me me, me parcel, go out enjoy yourself because when you get older certain things you can can do yeah that's you true you can't experience those things now do you mind very very annoying do things now where you can have a story to tell later to somebody it is going to be worth it you want me to tell a story oh story time after you finish this thing Not right oh now. I didn't get <laughs> so so um. Yes, uh, we plug in again. This is the boy, Massive Too Hazy, coming up with his new massage therapy business. Uh, ladies, if you really want your back cracked, if you want them knots loosened, you don't know. Check my boy with the longest of locks. Well, I won't say the longest of locks, but the longest of uh, socks. Let's say socks. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, the thing is, um, is I'm currently doing a course on deep tissue massage and I'm almost finished okay, I just so have to go through one last video and then the test once I get my certifications and my equipment is here I will give an official date and a launch of the business I will be giving some free massages to a few people yes. and I would really Tell appreciate if you guys can um, give me honest feedback and honest review because if you don't give me honest feedback I don't know where I can improve on so please Great. so we're gonna honest be doing feedback. we're gonna be doing um we're gonna be doing um segments where you can we can do we're doing the call in this afternoon well if anybody wants to call in just to give in their two cents you can feel free to do, feel free to do so you can contact me on whatsapp I think most of you have my number if not seven six three nine six eight three Great. You can feel free to do so. Just do it by. We're gonna do we're gonna be having segments where you can answer questions and win, win a different free things. massage with your boy Massive Too Hazy. Uh that's coming up in the near future. We're gonna let, let you know when. It's not official yet. Please bear in mind, don't keep us don't hold us to the word yet. Yeah, no, Things no, no, don't ain't do that. official yet. But just to give you a notice, it's coming up. There's also going to be a segment called confession session. You can either send sorry, sorry what up. Send a message anonymously. But send a message, we're gonna keep it anonymous. Basically something about that would have happened to you or something that you did that you somewhat feel guilty for and you want other people to know about it without knowing who you are. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So it's like a way of um communicating how you feel about you, something you did mm. and if someone else went through that same experience this person can also relate to what you did we you know have uh, we have uh, neglect in the comments someone by the name of ne said hell no <laughs> not no have no sex early what would you say to that have no sex early yeah that's like, not don't like case. but why you say that why you say that man? why you say that you say it's not that's not a thing you need to explain it more why you think it's not a good idea because I want to know where your mindset is when it comes to that. I just I don't I need to understand. I need to understand. Okay, so <laughs> no, 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 no. If you want to call in, feel free to call in definitely because the line is going to be open. I shouldn't set the line for the line to be open, but I definitely give line. a little feedback. I need to know why you said that. <laughs> but yeah, um, oh, another few things from the the day thing I was saying. Sleepover was a, a yes. The 
Let me, let me get back to my notes here. Discuss finances. Definitely. Okay, we got Carl coming in. Nah, she, you waste no time. You waste <laughs> no time, boy. Wait, hold up, hold up. Let's, let's, let's get the line set up first. You waste no time, boy. She ain't raised nothing to call in by. My mother's there. Yes, Carla, we can hear you. Go ahead. Well, okay. Okay, I, I respect that. Mm. You're talking about the, 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 the kiss and tell? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. Let me let me clarify myself. Let me clarify myself. When I was saying to have it early, I didn't necessarily mean on the first date. That's not what I meant. Let me just clarify that real and truly. I don't believe in having sex on the first date. That's not something that should happen at all. Period. What you're saying is completely true. Both parties need to be comfortable with their bodies before they can even think about stepping into that time zone. So I appreciate the calling and I thank you for trying to clarify that. That's so, really so, 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 Carla, is it is it a is it a situation where you, um, you misinterpreted what he said as like early early sexual? That is a fact. Yeah, um, a study has shown that only 94% of condoms work. That is a very good fact. Only 94% of them work. Hey, 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 no generalization, please. Wow, she went straight for the shot. Wow, I mean, mother's straight to the sink, it's people. Okay so, so, okay, so Carl, I have a question for you. Sorry to cut you off. Do you feel like it is a lapse of the um, the medical industry where people are less aware of their um their health status, are less are less inclined to to be aware of their health status before okay. getting into intimate relationships with other humans? That's a good point. That's a good point. Mm. Okay then. Okay. Mm. Okay then. Yeah, okay respect, then. Respect, 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 Oh, she wants that. Okay. And okay. the comments? Okay, then. Okay, we got you, Ne. And where you calling from? Hmm. 
right, so uh, we got a call from the US. Yeah, you see, you don't know. The man, them enough talk with international. Already. Already. <laughs> so, yeah, Mike, you know. Christian, you have any, any, um, anything you want to say before you go? Mm. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, the lens going to be open, and we appreciate you taking the call. Thanks a lot for um, contributing, and we'll hear from you again, yeah? All right, All right cool. Bless up, Nick. So, yeah, you don't know. You see, the live calls, we, we do live calls. We accept it. So, as she was saying, she, it, was a, it was a miscommunication. People were not saying to go and have sex on the first, first date. date. No, that's Just not okay. That's like, nah, yes, AIDS, come. No, we ain't doing that. We don't do that. What we mean is, if you are intimately intertwined with somebody already and you are sure of this person's health status, you are sure of what this person has been into, right? Yes, fine. Go ahead and explore each other sexually. Fine. To build a better bond between each other. There was a <laughs> miscommunication. You said explore each other. I just, for some reason, do it. just pop up in your head. <laughs> Yo, yo, we love y'all. Oh we we got we share enough love for our our supporters personally, and um, yeah, I think we can wrap it up. Yeah. So guys, just wanna say thanks a lot again for tuning in. We appreciate you guys. We will be having another segment soon. We will have details um on the page. So be sure to please go like and follow the page on Facebook. It's Nuff Talk Media. Don't forget. Talk, if you have yeah. any comments, any questions, anything which you think we should talk about in the next um segment, next episode, hit me up yeah, on WhatsApp. Feel, feel free to hit us on Facebook. On don't be afraid. Appreciate that again. Until next time, peace. Yeah, you don't know. Nuff Talk Media signing out. We will be having merchandise on the market soon. As soon as we can have um, either local or international print workers to do our merchandise, we will allow you to purchase these merchandise as soon as they're available. Hey, I got sketch artists already. I yeah. got somebody that could draw us out. That person, hey, you yeah. know who you be. Yeah? So I mean, she watching right now, but she know who she be. She so should. we can tell them about the, yeah, the about advertisement thing. We tell so them yeah. about the advertisement thing. Next time, there's a possibility we will have my guest. Right. He, his name is Spliff Skylark. Great, and we're gonna we're gonna tag him in the comments we too. We'll tag him in the comments. Tag so him in the comments. Yeah, so. we're gonna see next segment for a fact. But right. definitely give us some thoughts, some reviews. Let us know what you think about this segment. Until then, message to Hazy and Wolfie, Enough Talk Media signing out. Peace. <laughs> No roof in a ratchet, a Bible just for balance, bet the house, they're a match of the apocalypse. We adapted Grammy in the pandemic, Nino Brown, Mad Max, and that's no doors on the Jeep, you put them on, you got a tax, and close caption, make them see what I'm talking about, break the huddle, then send them south, out of boat at the line, but I empathize, your unwillingness to pivot, split the pie, or just give it time, human made slides, white toes, and never powders her nose, I'm so out in and it shows, for my brother, they took the blueprint, never gave him his rose. This for you, Bucks. Only the stagnant sit and throw shade. Honor your vision, hell with what them folks say. They never heard GG pray. Peace be still, keep your balance to keep them off you. Your enemies play it straight. The family gonna try to cross you at your wake. The only time that they applaud you, it ain't personal. Last time that I checked, what's it worth to you to have your brother pull up on you? Bust a play down. Go to slid through security, safest fear will allow. Been detached for a while, but this the last thing I need. Snake slithering in the garden, plotting round on my seat. It's the vision for me. Her last words I said. Bye.